Hi, my name is Shabazz Stewart. I'm the founder and CEO of Uni, a lifelong resident of Brooklyn, New York. Um, we're standing here on North 12th and Union Avenue in a space that has been reclaimed. There are a lot of um, elements and factors here that could be applicable to other parts of the city in this time of COVID-19 and particularly as we explore strategies post COVID-19 to make our city fair, efficient with a high quality of life for all. So we're standing here in a plaza that I have what is essentially a roadmap for how to create a street design plan that saves the tens of thousands of struggling and closed small businesses, restaurants, bars, salons, etc. in the city. It's not particularly far-fetched to imagine a world where people don't feel comfortable or not allowed to go inside to small spaces and eat, drink, and play. So what we need to do is produce an alternative, right? We need to have places outside, outdoors, on streets, where people can do the same. And that's what this is here, right? This is a space where there are picnic tables and benches and planters. This model is going to have to be expanded on serious scale. We're gonna need hundreds and thousands of these spaces across all five boroughs, available to every New Yorker in every type of community. This is a really interesting example of a sidewalk extension that really functions um, well for two reasons. One, um, it gives people on what is a very narrow street, very narrow thoroughfare, only about um, eight or nine feet wide, um, a place to walk that is socially distanceable. The second reason is that the geometry of the street has been fundamentally altered to remove a lane of traffic for cars. We have a bike lane that is on one side, we have a 10 foot curb extension on the other side, and we have really a single lane for cars to actually move. And the net result is a con environment that is conducive to lower speeds and one that is more inviting for people to walk and for cyclists to ride. So on the other side of the plaza, there are elements that exist that are interesting and probably predictive of what we'll need to replicate. First, we have the spaces allocated for bike share and just for bikes in a general basis. We're gonna to need to allocate much, much more room for people who are traveling by other means aside from mass transit. And this is important to consider. The mass transit in New York City in general carries about six and a half million people a day. You know, right now they're carrying about 7% of that. Um, that number may not rise above 35 or 40 percent. So where will that other three and a half million people go? They're going to walk more, they're going to bike more, they're going to telecommute more, and, and hopefully they're not going to drive more. We have a green um, bike lane here, uh, and that's a step forward in the right direction, um, but we're going to need to really double, triple, and quadruple down on that. Today in New York, we have about 500,000 bike trips per day on average. If that goes up to a million or two million bike trips a day on average, we're going to need to have more of these um, that are higher quality and much safer so that those people can be um, moved quickly and efficiently and safely on our city streets. What we need is a connected network of cycleways, very similar to what we have in London and Paris, um, that weave together um, parts of the city that are residential, mixed use with commercial destinations. That network needs to be labeled so that people are have a degree of familiarity with where they're going and needs to connect with um, secondary and tertiary arteries uh, on the cycle network.